Hi guys, and today I want to do a quick review. And today's review is just going to be, uh, I guess, a overview of the Ed Brown Cobra Carry. Um, and this is going to be actually some of the options, additional options you can get installed on the Ed Brown Cobra Carry after you get it back from the factory. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, this is the Ed Brown Cobra Carry. Cobra Carry is the uh, compact model, has bobtail on it, you can see. Uh, let's go ahead and start the review. Uh, show you it's empty. See, there's nothing in there. I do have a snap cap in it, so let's get the snap cap out. Lock it back. Okay, see, it's a snap cap. And we'll lay that down like that because we'll start the review on Okay, Ed Brown Cobra Carry. When you buy this, will come with a standard set of grips. It does not come with these grips. It comes with your standard, I'll show you what kind of grips it comes with. Your standard wooden grips that look something like this. And they're nice wooden grips. This is what it comes with. They're chopped over here for the bobtail. Um, it is, when you get it from the factory, normally it has one slide safety. See how this has two? It has one here, which is a combat one. See how wide this is? It's half the size of that. Okay, it does not come with the top serration. It does not come with the, co uh, the carry cuts. Carry cuts are extra cuts like this. Let's go ahead and just shut it on. Okay. It doesn't come with these carry cuts right here. It uh, does not come with an extended magazine release. Um, if you buy this, it will not come with this recessed slide stop. Okay. You're not going to have that. The front of the barrel will not be crowned and flushed like this, and it will not have a one-piece guide rod. This is a one-piece guide rod. So when I bring that out, it won't have a one-piece guide rod either. Okay. Another three things on the gun. If the gun is older than a year old that you bought it, chances are there's going to be three parts in the gun which are metal injection. Uh, it will be the rear beaver tail safety. It will be the slide safety if you have not already got it replaced. And, and back here, if you take this out, there is a little rod. It's called the hammer strut. Those three parts will not be. Uh, however, if you take it to the send it to the factory, Ed Brown can for about uh, $1,300, they can replace all those parts and do the ribbing. For 13, they will replace this. They will give you ambidextrous uh, machined. They have the wide or they have the combat. I got the wide because it's a little more rarer. Most people don't have the wide one on their guns. Uh, say a slide safeties. They will give you an internal hammer strut, which is milled uh, materials. Um, you can get the extended uh, magazine release comes out about that much which is really nice for pushing. Uh, you can get the recessed slide stop. You can get the carry cuts done. I have a little oil in here. Carry cuts. You can get this crowned and flushed and you can get a um, one-piece guide rod. This comes apart you put an allen wrench and screw in there and you unscrew this rod and that makes it come apart a lot easier. Also when they do this work they will have to refinish the whole gun so you'll have a completely refinished gun. But I just wanted to show you some of the options and the Crimson Trace of course are extra ones. They probably if you had to buy them would be about three ninety nine or something. If you maybe get them used or on sale, maybe you get them for like two two fifty. And of course I replaced these VZ zip, zip screws, these grip screws with different ones. So uh that adds a little. So um them are some of the customizations you can do. You cannot do any more from the factory unless you get it built that way. Um, so I wanted to show you it. If you do all the Cabric Cobra Carry and you want to get some modifications done to it just to make it a little bit better, um, that is what you can do with it. So thanks a lot for tuning into my video. And that's the Cobra Carry Custom by Ed Brown. And, uh, Thank you very much and appreciate your tuning in. If you have any comments, please comment. Um, I really haven't even fired the gun yet and I don't know if I will. But uh, either that, I like it, it's a nice gun, 
and thanks for tuning into my video. Thank you.